Number one will be a leadership. Okay. And, and also a person that just uh, push the other persons down in the okay. opposite. So okay. in one position is great and the other one just put it's it down. It lowers people. And yeah, what about number people. two? Number two will be a person that one company all the time that it, it's like uh, putting together energy, the best couple. And also it will, in the opposite side, is attached to everything. So okay. it, it brings a lot of attachment and doubts. Okay. A three, very expressing yourself a lot and explaining everything that you want. You love to talk. You love to uh, argue also and have a lot of <laughs> ideas. <laughs> and in the opposite side, because every number has two, two faces. Two sides of it. Yeah, two sides. So um, there's a lot of drama. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a lot of situations that you get involved into or you attract people with drama or sometimes you get into drama or you just exaggerate everything. So this tree is a perfect communication uh, person. The challenges for you is like um, uh, these new projects all the time. And uh, when you're getting into that, sometimes you get and, and try to step back a little a bit and you'll see, oh, if I'm doing right this or not. And you sometimes doubt about yourself with that energy because mm -hmm. that's the essence. And, and always this tree is uh, looking forward to put the ideas and bring more people with those ideas. You're like an artist. That's the name for, for this number. <laughs> number four will be a person with intelligence and order. And in the opposite side, no flexibility. So okay. it's just like a person that is very tied with themselves. Okay. <laughs> number okay. fifth will be a person that is liberate with a lot of energy, with a lot of movement, with a lot of changing all the time. And the opposite side is a person that get involved into very dense energy, like uh, drugs, sexual, sexuality, and okay. uh, things like very low, you know, like pulling back to these addictions, we can say. Okay. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Number six will be the person that is with the family. That's the, the positive. He's always willing to take care of others. And mm -hmm. in the opposite side is a person that never feel that is uh, in tune with other people. You know, mm -hmm. like don't get along with anybody so feel very lonely with this and number seven we'll go with number seven the person it's um it's also a person that has a lot of connection with the spirituality so we can say it's a more spiritual number and then in the opposite side it's a person that just want to go alone and is mm -hmm. very selfish okay yeah and then we have the eight number, which in the good position will be the, the best connection with a spiritual and material world. So it's a person that is in balance between those two. And in the other side is a person that just with material things, just um, release everything and never get established um, in El Cero in a, in a good way. Okay. And finally, number nine, it's a person that is connecting to serve others. There's always willing to give. And in the negative side, it's a person that just don't want to share anything. And it's like uh, just um, very angry about life and, and controlling things and just like um, a manipulator person. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we did the number 10 is, or the zero, it's all yeah. of it. Zero could be all of it, or it could be none of that. Okay. That depends a lot of the reading, because we will uh, see that in the uh, karmic number. So depending uh -huh. on the karmic, we will see how the things work for this person, particular person. So we can see if that uh, in the past life, it fulfilled the things that they needed to do, or they just push it back.